the seven phases of the data integration lifecycle. The data integration lifecycle introduces a more advanced, detailed look into the steps that are necessary to integrate multiple data sources. It starts with the access phase, then goes through discovery, then cleansing, then integration, then delivery, then development and management, then auditing, monitoring, and reporting. Let's go through each of these phases real quickly. Access. Data comes from many sources, including legacy applications and systems, databases, modern applications, XML messages, and many kinds and numerous types of documents, such as spreadsheets, project plans, text documents, etc. Identifying and accessing these sources is the first step to data integration. The next phase is the discovery phase. The discovery phase involves bringing all data sources out into the open and documenting the uses and structures of poorly understood and described sources. This is also the point at which data semantics, patterns or rules that emerge from a structure and use, and quality issues should be noted and flagged for further action. The next phase is cleansing. Data is cleansed for accuracy and integrity. Cleanup can involve detecting and co correcting errors, supplying missing elements and value, enforcing data standards, validating data, and purging duplicate entries. The next phase is integration. This phase involves consolidating data across all systems and applications, accessing their fragmented data, creating an accurate and consistent view of their information assets, and leveraging those assets to drive business decisions and operations. This often means resolving inconsistent use of and meanings for identical terms across different contexts. The next phase is delivery. Correct, relevant data is made available in proper form in a timely manner to all users and applications that need such access. This might mean responding to queries that result in single records or small answer sets to delivering entire data sets for trend analysis or enterprise-wide reporting. This step also addresses needs for data security, availability, privacy, and compliance requirements related to access and use. The next phase, development and management. This is where XML-based tool sets enable business, business analysts, architects, developers, and managers to work together in creating a comprehensive set of data integration rules, processes, practices, and procedures. Therefore, capturing and implementing all the substantive work in the five preceding steps. This step also tackles issues related to performance, scalability, and reliability needs for key enterprise applications and services. And the final phase, auditing, monitoring, and reporting. Once data semantics and uses have been captured, omissions remediated, errors corrected, and quality examined and assured, ongoing observation and analysis is required to keep data clean, correct, reliable, and available. This part of the process makes it possible to flag potential issues as they occur to cycle them back through this life cycle to make sure they get resolved. Auditing also helps make sure the data remains visible, under control, and able to guide future changes and enhancements. If you enjoyed this video, then join my Business Mastery Insider Secrets Club. There you'll have access to all my Business Mastery systems, over a thousand business strategy videos, over a hundred hours of Business Mastery University courses. You'll access my 10 business assessment tools, my 12 business planning tools, the Small Business Makeover, the 120 Day Performance Challenge, the Six Month Internet Blueprint, thousands of business articles, over 700 business templates, and over a hundred of my favorite business strategy ebooks. All of this for just $29 a month for a limited time. So join now.